Hey guys, here's the third video in the series about histograms. If you need an overview about what the heck a histogram even is, go back to the first video and start there and then meet me back here in a little bit. So today we're talking about color curves. Color curves are awesome because it's basically a histogram, but you can, you can mess with it, you can change it. Okay, so over on the left side here, this is all darks, and over on the right side here, this is all brights. And I've got a line here, it's almost like a string that I can pull whichever way I want, um, to basically change how things are uh, either dark or, or bright. Now, you can really, really mess up your image quite quickly with curves, but also you can, uh, you can make some really awesome changes too if you know what you're doing. So first things first, um, the darks, so look at this, look at this little point right here. This point is saying left to right, it's saying the location for what you're changing is the darks because I'm over here. I'm not over here, I'm not over here, I'm all the way over to the left, so that, so that location is what you're thinking. Then, as you go up and down, that's gonna see what you change it to. So right now, the darks are plotted on this graph. If they're dark, then this line is saying, okay, leave them dark. Now, what we're gonna do next is, if they're dark, so I'm staying in this area left to right, but I'm going up, it's saying take the darks that are in this area and pull them up towards white. And if I do that, then the entire image is white because I just said everything, and you can see the line, it's pulling other stuff up too. It's not just this one little dot, it's pulling all this other stuff up as well. So I'm basically taking the entire, the shadows and everything else with it, because this is an unbroken line, and I'm saying, okay, you guys are going up towards white, because I don't want you down towards shadows anymore. It's really fun. Let's go to the middle, let's go to the mids. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the mids uh, over and down, and take a look at this line. Look at what's happening to this line. Look at the shadows here. The shadows stay the shadows, right? The, uh, the higher shadows are actually pulled down to be darker. The mids are pulled down to be darker. The upper mids are pulled down to be darker. And we only actually end up at the highs right near <clears throat> where they actually should be. So I pulled down almost everything else except for the highest of the highs. Just by grabbing that one little dot in the center and just pulling it down this way. Now let's go the opposite way. Let's go here. What have I done? Now remember, the shadows are staying the shadows, but as I go higher, so let's say this is just a higher shadow than perfectly dark, that's gonna be remapped up here. It's gonna be pushed up, it's higher. So this line basically, this line in the center is a line of, of perfect, perfect, uh, just un, unchanged, just nothing's different. If this line is straight, that means that nothing's different because as you can see, this mapping from dark to bright left to right, correlates perfectly with, with dark to light over here on the y-axis. So if you're gonna push above that line, you're gonna make things brighter, and if you're gonna push below that line, you're gonna make things darker, okay? So let's take, uh, now let's do two separate things now. Let's take the, the, the upper mids higher, and let's take the lower mids lower. What did I just do here? I just made it more contrasty. Now obviously it looks horrible, but stick with me for a second. This is how you create contrast. Okay, so you're pushing the uh, the highs higher and you're pushing the lows lower. Now if you overdo it, let's see, let me, let me try to take it to the absolute breaking point. This is gonna mean that everything below middle is just trash dark, just completely just all just pushed out. Look at this, this bright all the way down to dark. It's taking this area, it's taking these mids here, and it's pushing those all the way down. It's pushing the shadows down. Well, the shadows are already down. These high, little higher shadows down, upper or lower mids down, mids down. And then once I pass that middle point, those upper mids get shoved all the way up to the top. Those upper mids get shoved to bright. And then the uh, the lower highs get shoved to bright, and the uh, the highs are already at bright. So you can see there's a huge so so you can see there's just this white, just complete white, and then just a bunch of dark. Okay, uh, try to forget about color 
as we do this, try to forget about, you know, is that orange? Is that red? Is that pink? Whatever. Um, try not to, uh, to think about color. All we're doing is we're mapping how bright certain things are. Okay. So, um, play with this curve because curves are basically, that's, that's almost the best way to learn, you know, a histogram is to basically be playing. It's like you're playing with a histogram because you're able to pull the, uh, the shadows or the brights out wherever you want. And you can come up with some really, really strange looking things. Obviously, if you mess with this, you're going to make uh, people look like aliens. But as you play with it, you'll learn, oh my gosh, like this right here, look at what's changing. Do you see what's changing? I'm taking a look and I'm seeing, okay, this area correlates to the image. You can see what part of the image changes when I do that. It's a certain type of dark. You see that? That certain type of dark is changing. And so I, now I know, looking at the image, when I look at the image again, and it's actually straight, I can see his hair and his, uh, his uh, vest here, and then this area, I can see them all as kind of part and parcel. I can see them all as kind of in the same club of, of you know lower mids. Or if, say, if I come up here, let me actually put one here just so it doesn't mess with the entire thing. I can see where the brights are because, uh, you know, just by moving this up and down, I can see what is affected. Now, keep in mind, if you look at look at this area down here, as I move the upper, it's going to affect the lower a little bit. So don't get tricked by that. Okay, you can see the opposite side of whatever you're moving is going to move opposite to where you move because it's it, it wants to keep a smooth curve type. Um, so don't get tricked by that, but just play, please play, and you will learn everything you need to know about a histogram. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. I don't take it lightly uh, that you gave me some of your time today.